Hey guys, it's Nikki here. I know I'm blending in a little bit here with my maroon sweater on my red chair, so I'm going to be short and sweet just to kick off this reading vlog. I did a much shorter pick this month for my reading vlog for October, and that's because I'm doing another reading challenge, and I just, in general, have a lot I really want to get to this month, so I'm trying to minimize how much clip, how many clips I have to film, just because I'm, I'm being lazy here, guys. I promise I'll try to put into the same amount of quality, which is minimal because I suck at vlogging, but here we are. So I have two spooky reads for October. Here they are. First one is Little Heaven by Nick Cutter. I picked this up recently from uh, my local Indigo. Uh, it is, I think, it's like a horror thriller. I'm not entirely sure. It's about a cult and things going wrong in this cult. So I'm really hoping that it's super disturbing and just like full of mind fuckery. And I'm really excited to pick it up. Uh, I read The Deep earlier by him earlier this year. And while I didn't like the kind of phantasmical, phantasmagorical science fiction goer, I liked the other aspects of it. And I'm hoping that I get those in here and that this doesn't seem like it should be too sci-fi fantasy in terms of the gore. And the other is a classic that I should have read a long time ago. And that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I remember vaguely when I was about 10 picking up like the children's version of this, but I really want to see what the original is like, and it's a little bit shorter, it looks like it's not going to be too dense, and I'm familiar with the story, so it's not going to be too trying of a read, so I'm really excited to pick this up. One is an old-timey gothic science fiction kind of horror novel, and one is a kind of basically the newer version, mo newer modern day version of that. So I'm excited to see how this goes, and I'll check in with you guys once I started reading. Peace. Hey guys, I'm um, just checking in here. Uh, I have started with my spooky Halloween reads. The first being Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, I believe I mentioned when I did my intro clip that I vaguely remember reading it when I was younger or like a child version of it um but I'm about 20-30 pages in I am loving Mary Shelley's writing so far it's very smooth and atmospheric I just the way the story is written so far is just very engaging and I'm really enjoying myself I am off to bed here. I am hoping to read a little bit more there and I will check with me guys. I will check in with you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, just checking in with you here. It is middle of the week. I'm doing a face mask. I worked out. I had a shower. I'm just feeling really refreshed right now. I'm about to put a lasagna in and after that, my husband and I plan to have a very chill evening, which means I'll be reading a little bit of Frankenstein, and I'll be re reading a little bit of Little Heaven. Uh, I didn't post this update initially because I forgot, but I definitely started uh, Little Heaven before I intended to because I forgot Frankenstein at work. Go me. But it let me get into Little Heaven, and it seems very bizarre. Uh, so far, it seems to be in line with Nick Cutter's other book that I read. So creepy, weird. This one definitely has more of an eldritch horror feel than an alien horror feel, which I'm really getting behind. And I'm still really enjoying Frankenstein. It still has that like really lovely writing style that Mary Shelley has consistently maintained through this book that is just unbelievable. It's so smooth and atmospheric, but you feel all of the emotion behind it. Um, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. And I will leave you here. Hey guys, just here to check in now that we've had our wonderful evening. You can see my husband in the reflection in the window. But more importantly, my new blinds are there too. I'm very happy with them. So I spent most of the evening watching dank memes with my husband. Uh, just like, well actually we watched a bunch of Funhouse, which is a channel 
that has a lot of like gameplay and like just really chill conversations with a lot of people who are really good at like the improv and stuff it it's always it's always a laugh but after that my husband put on dank memes and I read I don't know 40 pages of Frankenstein I'm about just shy of halfway through now I am still very much enjoying it um I just got to the part where uh Dr. Frankenstein <sighs> sorry it's like nine o'clock at night it's past my bedtime so uh, I just got to the part where Dr. Frankenstein kind of quote-unquote reconnects with his monster of his creation still loving Mary Shelley's writing still finding this very interesting the writing is a little bit denser than I anticipated just because of how the pages are set up weirdly like large margins which is a very strange choice but like there's a big border around all the text and then because it's my bedtime I will be hopefully reading another you know 15-ish pages of Little Heaven once I get there you know just to spice up my imagination before I go to sleep super awesome choice I've been having absolutely bonkers dreams lately like not nightmares just like a very surreal and very strange but I'm going to leave you here and I'll check in with you once I have another update hey guys just checking in here again I have a big update for you and it's gonna be very quick um, I have now finished Frankenstein as of last night I officially finished it I really enjoyed the story I love the storytelling format but also the letter format that they used or that was used Mary Shelley is just very a very good author I found it very smooth very descriptive without being too flowery personally I really enjoyed it and I also really enjoyed kind of like the subtle not so subtle hints at like what was going on who was the real monster it was so so intriguing. I really enjoyed my read through of it. It uh, definitely made me put a couple more Mary Shelley books on my TBR. And overall, I just really enjoyed myself. It was a classic story. I really knew kind of the bones of it. And going back and finding the real thing was really awesome. Next, I have to continue on with my read through of Little Heaven, which I started because one day I forgot Frankenstein at work. Uh, today is not going to be a great reading day, partially because I play uh, computer games with my father-in-law, father and husband all day, but also because I guess I'm showing, starting to show my age and uh, my entire shoulder and neck on one side is just awful. I can barely turn my head. I can barely lift my arm. It's so much fun. And so, you know, it's just gonna be that kind of day. <laughs> All up, I'm gonna end up having to push back when I finish this vlog just because I'm not gonna be able to read today and we'll have to see how I do tomorrow. Uh, but I will check up with you guys uh, when I have another update. Hey guys, just checking in with you. It's been a couple days since I talked to you last. I'm now about halfway, uh, just shy of halfway through Little Heaven. I am really enjoying it so far. It has a lot of kind of the weird body horror, but instead of being kind of like science fiction-y, definitely has more of a kind of forest eldritch horror feel. And I can't tell you what it is, but that does it for me way more than like alien kind of morphing into body horror it's just like body horror and something weird is going on and you're not really sure what like you know what it you know what things are causing the issue but you don't know like their background and you don't know exactly what they're doing you just know like weird shit's going down um i'm enjoying the perspectives I follow, you follow um, three mercenaries who, due to circumstances, kind of begin to work together. And then you also follow the perspective of the leader of the cult group at Little Heaven. And so far it's been very, 
very interesting and very, very creepy. I'd almost love to see this made into like a horror movie. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But that's based only on what I, this first half of the book I've read. We'll have to see how it goes in the back half. Hey guys, this is my final check-in. I finished Little Heaven a little behind schedule, but as I said in the last clip, I kind of fucked up my shoulder and it has lasted way longer than I'm happy with. Um, but I finished it. I'll probably, this will be going up the same day I post my Halloween book tag, to be quite frank. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of the elements of horror I really enjoy, kind of like that interesting, like, folktale eldritch horror, like, history of Earth cycles of evil kind of thing going on. And it was, I really, really enjoy that. And all the gore that was involved was, like, really normal gore, like, decomposition or just, like, decapitations and of, like, limbs and heads. Just very straightforward gore. And I, if that, you're sensitive to that, like, I do not recommend this, but I prefer this over, like, the weird kind of, like, alien sci-fi body horror that was in um, Nick Cutter's other book that I read not too long ago. I love the premise. Um, with the whole cult in the woods thing, um, at the end, uh, Nick Cutter mentions that he does take some of the Reverend's actions and looks from Jim Jones and his cult, which is super interesting, actually. And... It just, it made it feel a lot more believable, and I thought he was doing a really good job with the dialogue, and since so much of his inspiration, I guess, came from there in his own imagination, it makes a lot of sense why. But I'm going to end here. I need to wash off my makeup. Um, and I'll give you, like, a full summary and rating on this and Frankenstein in the next clip. Hey guys, I'm just getting ready for my Sunday here, and I am back to tell you my final thoughts and feelings on my spooky October reading challenge. Today is Halloween. I figured it was the perfect day to post it since I definitely did not get it ready for last week when, which I was supposed to. But I finished the two books on top of all the other reading I did this month, so I'm very impressed with myself, even though you guys don't see all the books I read. I read a lot more than I usually do physically, so it was a lot more challenging <laughs> than normal to get this done. So the first book was Frankenstein by uh, Mary Shelley. I cannot express how surprised I was by this book. I knew the bones of the story, and while it had never particularly interested me, I had never read the original, and so that's why I wanted to pick this up. And I loved Mary Shelley's writing. It was unreal. The story, because I knew it, nothing was really surprising, and I st while I, st I still enjoyed it, it didn't, like, I wasn't super engaged the whole time, but Mary Shelley's writing was wonderful. I was really taken aback at how beautiful her writing was, and it's definitely made me add a few more of her books to my TBR. As you know, Frankenstein is the scientist who creates this being out of dead parts, and the rest of the story is kind of the fallout of that action, and it was just beautifully explained, like, they touched on a lot of different morality things, and they didn't romanticize what he'd done, and yeah, it was just very, very well done. Next is Was Little Heaven by Nick Cutter. I really enjoyed this one too. I was very, very surprised actually with how much I enjoyed it. I'd read The Deep by him earlier this year and there was a lot of like sci-fi alien gore mixed in with the body horror and it just, it wasn't really my thing. So I was a little worried going into this that it might have that kind of twist, but it didn't. It had that lost in the woods, there's evil in the woods, kind of eldritch horror slash this like ancient, unaging evil that resulted in a really good mixture of, like, of body horror for me. It was all very 
normal like decapitations, normal visceration, but the few like creepy things were more had more to do with like decomposition than weird alien stuff. So like it really hit the spot for me for the kind of horror I enjoy. Uh, I also just I loved the setting. It was this isolated little camp with this weirdly charismatic but deeply disturbed cult leader. And then you had this ragtag group of not even friends, but like colleagues kind of trying to figure out what's going on. And there's just so much about the story that really hit the spot. I really loved this reading. <sighs> and my final ratings for Frankenstein is three and a half out of five. And my final reading for rating for Little Heaven is four out of five. This was a really successful readathon. Or, this was a really successful vlog, and I love the two horror books I picked up. One being very classic and gothic, the other being much more modern and gory, and they were both hits for me. So let me know below what you guys think of these stories, and I will talk to you there. Peace.